Hey guys, just thought I'd do a 39 week update. I'm 39 weeks tomorrow. Um, but I've had my midwife appointment, my antenatal checkup today. Um, and a few things are happening, so I thought it best to do it tonight. Um, so basically we went in to do our normal antenatal checkup today, um, anticipating we were going to ask for a stretching sweep, um, which was cool. We did do that, um, did ask for the stretching sweep. <clears throat> but some other stuff happened. So um, they checked my urine straight away and there was protein again. Um, and then they checked my blood pressure and it was 140 on 80. And she asked me about headaches and I have been getting headaches. So symptomatically I've had headaches, nausea, got pains running down either into my butt cheeks or down my legs or both. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted the last couple of days <clears throat> and I've been getting some period pain cramping sort of thing um in the last couple of days and also now since getting home um but basically from that she sent me over to birth suite um to get more checks done and stuff like that so um i had they've done bloods yay for anyone that knows me knows that's my favorite thing <clears throat> just kidding i hate needles so they did bloods, they, re they sent off my urine, um, and I was on the CTG for a while. So CTG was good, and basically they said to me, given my history, given what's happening, if the urine came back with high protein levels again, they would give me an option for an induction. Um, if the bloods came back with issues, they weren't going to give me an option. So... Basically, that would mean if the bloods had come back high, Wednesday morning would be um, a necessary induction. And if just the urine came back high, Thursday morning induction. So pretty much, um, they did my blood pressure as well, and it was 130 over 75 once I was on birth suite. So that was fine. Um, my protein level's on the 25th, so they did have already picked up protein in my urine. Um... I think it was, well, the 25th, so, I don't know, like, two weeks ago or something. Um, and the levels then were 58. So they've checked again today, and they're 82. So that was a worry for them, especially because I've had the preeclampsia with Eden. <clears throat> they don't know if they, you know, can assume progression of that. So, um, yeah, pretty much that's that. I've, um, I also, I had the stretch and sweep and um, my cervix is already soft and I'm two to three centimeters dilated already. So all of that given, that's pretty much led us to, we have an induction date of 7 a.m. on Thursday morning, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so that's, that's cool. It's a little bit terrifying. It's cool having a date. I was induced with Eden, but it was on the spot, which we kind of thought was gonna happen tonight after they, rush just to birth suite and stuff but it didn't so that was cool um so I guess I'm going to spend whatever time I have not in labor between now and then um finishing doing the things I wanted to do like maybe scrubbing my floors if I feel up to it <laughs> um but just yeah getting more stuff organized around the house so yeah we're um it's pretty exciting stuff it's sort of scary I I'm not scared of delivering so much, I don't think. Like, I've never really felt scared of birth, as I've talked about. But something's scaring me. And I'm a little bit nervous. My grandmother is actually up at the hospital now. Um, dying, for lack of a better word. So, um, she's my great-grandmother. And basically, I would really love for her to have the chance to meet her fourth great-great-grandchild <clears throat> before that happens. Um, so that's weighing a little bit. And obviously, that's a lot of pressure on the whole family as well, a new baby coming in while we're on the verge of losing a loved one as well. That's pretty hard stuff to sort of um, swallow. And um, I guess the... Not the realisation, because I knew, obviously, what I was getting into, but just the holy crap, we're going to have a toddler 
whatever Eden is at four, like a big toddler, a little kid, <laughs> um, and a newborn. It's all pretty, it's exciting, but I think it's a little bit nerve wracking because it's like, holy crap, this is actually real, this is happening. I said to Terry today, I didn't feel that she'd been in there long enough. I remember in the start, it just felt like it dragged and dragged and dragged. But we were sitting in the um, waiting room this afternoon and she was kicking me and I was just thinking, this is about to be over in days. And I just cannot believe that that's happened already, that it's already about to be over. Not like the pregnancy is about to be over and that sort of like blows my mind a little bit because it just doesn't seem like it's been enough time. It's just weird. So when, I've been, when I'm induced, when we give birth, it'll be, it'll be 39 weeks in one day. So obviously it's been plenty of time, but it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. The feeling is just crazy. Like it's excitement that we're going to have a new baby, but it's just like, oh my gosh, because I don't feel like it's, I feel like I'm not mentally prepared for it. I feel that I've just gone, oh crap, there's about to be a baby here, which is so weird because obviously we planned her and we've had months and months to think about it but it's just like it's just hitting this holy crap moment so I don't know if that's because we have a date and we know she's about to be here um I don't know what do I even look like with three kids what does life look like with three kids I have no idea what's about to hit us um it's pretty intense sort of feelings right now so yeah but anyway that's where we're at I'm definitely going to um try and film as much as I can um of uh, I guess like early labor and stuff like that um, tell you where I'm at what I'm feeling what's happening that sort of thing um, and give you a belly shot then because it's only two days away so there's no point in me getting uncomfortable and trying to do one now um, but yeah so I'm definitely going to try and do that and put that online as fast as possible too so you guys will have a um, fairly real-time knowledge of what's happening and when the baby's born and stuff like that so it might be a bit late but um it'll be there that's the plan anyway so hopefully it all goes well but anyway so that's it for tonight i'm going to let these brownies cool off that i've been cooking and pig out and battle with my inner self whether we're going to sit on the couch and watch some tv for a little bit while i wait for terry at home or clean up the lounge room i don't know we'll see but anyway i hope you guys are having a good night and talk soon bye